Hello everybody and welcome to my page. My name is Yalita. This is my first video and what I'm going to be doing for you today is making a ID badge like you wear at work. This is how they look before anything is done. These are some of the ones that I have done already. I just do different ones. All my badges are made to order so whatever they want I put on there. I do have a couple of badges for the guys too. You probably can't really see that. That's like a football helmet and a football and they say spirit across the top. I did have some more but I sold those. This is like a mermaid and a dolphin. I also make keychains, which I do also put these on the badge holders, too. This is a keychain of Hello Kitty. She's really cute. This is the one I did with my name on it for my badge at work. I do have another one that's already on my badge. I just made an extra one to show the um, people at work what I do. They're really cute. These are made of resin. So these are, I sell them, so these are a little bit higher. These are some of the keychains I made. Some of them are still wet, so I want to make sure I'm picking up the right one. Just like a little doggy. I'm a cat person myself. Let's see. These are little fish. They're really cute too. So today, this is just going to show you how I do my badges. Everyone do them basically almost the same, but they have different embellishments. These are going to be one badge. I put two um, cabotrons or two buttons. These are actually buttons. See the little loop right there? I can't see it, but it's on there. Little loop. So what you have to do with these, because these little pieces can come off, what I do is glue them. I glued the shoes on already, the hand, and I glued these pieces. It come in a bag like these. These are Mickey. I do have some more Minnie Mouse. They come in a bag of three. Oops. I'm not for sure if I got these from Walmart. They have some nice ones when they have some, but, or Joann's. So, what I did was put a little dot of glue right here. And this is the glue I use to glue them together. And I just take them apart. I took it all apart. And so what I'm going to do now is just place the glue on the black part. Just place it where you see that that other piece is going to be laying on. Just spread it around. This glue dried quick. I had it on here for a little while now before I started the video. So, because I was going the other part. So you just take it and glue it. Hope you can see what I'm doing. You just take it and glue it on the pieces. And then you take the piece. And they have holes in the pieces. So you just plop them right in. You just plop them right in. Just like that. They fit right back together. And I just turn them upside down and let them sit for... In about five or ten minutes. I, by the time I get the batch, uh, the the batch holder, should I say, uh, the I will they'll be dry enough to place on here. So what I do is take the glue, put it on here. It don't matter. You're not gonna see it, so it don't matter if you put it on here really neat or just put it on here just to hold the piece. And then I just plop this one on here. Just 
just like that. Sometimes it'll give you a hard time. Depends on which one you're doing. But they all fit right back on there. So to start my badge holder off, what I do is make sure that it's retracting. These are retractable badge holders. Make sure that they are retracting with no stall in them or anything like that. Then I also take a cotton ball, just a regular cotton ball from the dollar store. And I use some alcohol. This also came from the dollar store. I put a little on the cotton ball. And then I just clean the badge holder off. Make sure it ain't like real dirty or greasy. And you could order these online you could go to walmart like any kind of office store it depends if you buy them in box some are higher than others so i just get mine from walmart i am an avid walmart shopper i've been going on amazon and etsy etsy is where i get most of my pieces from that i add on here but the buttons, they do have the buttons on there too. It depends. You can basically put in there what you want or what the person want on their badge. And hopefully it'll come up. A lot of them do. Some I never thought of. I have like Tweety Bird. I'll show y'all at the end. Well, you know why this is dry. To show you the little pieces that I do have. Okay, so the first thing I start off, it depends on what the customer wants. So whatever they want, that's what I give them. This one is going to be pink with the pink stones. So some people just glue it on because of that's, you know, that's the one that they want. But I do an extra step to make sure that it's like really neat because you want it to be cute and you want it to last. So, my customer want pink, so what I do is paint the badge pink first, and then once that dry, then I put the stones on there, so I just take a little paint, sorry if you can't see me, I got a little paint dish over here, I take a little paint, touch. That's a couple of drops. So what I did was put a couple of drops. Don't come for me, y'all. I keep this like this until I'm ready to clean it. So I put it in a clear one. One that's not the inner. And that's the pink. It's really cute. You ain't gonna really see it no way. But I like to know that even where the stones are not gonna show, you'll see the color still. Okay, this is my paintbrush. I have to remember y'all there. Again, this is my first video. So I'm used to just doing this in my room. Watching TV or whatever. So what you do is you just add the paint on there. Actually, this is not my paintbrush that I always use. I have a bigger paintbrush. Here it I have a bigger paintbrush. It's not dirty. It's just been used a lot of times. So I just take the paint and it smears it out more even. I'm going to do this just for a moment. I get all the way around. And go all the way around on both sides. And if you miss something, don't worry about it. Because I always put two coats on here to make sure it's a solid color versus a translucent. And I let this dry. Three minutes, about five minutes. 
and then redo it and let that dry another five minutes. Usually I have it under my light that you see. I'm not even for sure if it's producing any heat to dry it. I think it's just in my mind. I've been doing it for so long, so I just always put it under there. Okay. So, that's what I do. And I'm going to let this dry. And I'll come back and do another coat. That's it. And you're going to let that dry again. And remember, you're going to have your stones on here, especially up here, because this is where this fit. Let me try to use this hand. Sorry, I'm right handed. So you probably can't really see what's going on. So you take this, and this is going to sit right there. So most of this is going to be covered. You see, most of this is going to be covered. So you don't have to worry about that. And then, once you let that dry, thumbs ready. Well, that's dry. This is the color she wanted. I painted. I don't have any hot pink. So, but this is the color she wanted. These little stones I got off of Etsy. It came in like 15 different colors. These are 4 millimeter stones. And they fit perfect for the different layers you put on there. I do like two around the side and then I just fill up the top. See how they look? They're like a little iridescent on the top. They look like really cute. So, when I'm ready, I'll take that out. Usually, I don't use the top. I'll get these little containers from the dollar store. They come in a set for a dollar. I just pour them in here. And then, uh, it's a stone. You pick up the stones with it. I have different ones, but I do have my favorite one. And this one is not it. So I'm just looking for it. Oh, duh. Is that ready here? So this is the one I have. I use this for bigger stones because it has this little putty stuff on there. And a lot of times the stones you pick up, I be wanting to move. These stones you pick up, it takes forever to sit them down sometimes. So I don't really like this one. Do it with this one. It has a small end. I really use this end. This is the way it came, so it's not dirty, but. This is the way it came. Now, this is the end that I use. It's a fatter end. It's not real sticky like the putty, but it'll hold the stones on there. So, I'll show you how to use that. Okay. So, we almost ready. This is almost ready. It's still wet. You got to... Basically wait for it to get mostly dry, but you don't want it to see the moist part. But if it ain't completely dry, you can start. Like if that side, you see how it's done? You could add it on that side, but that side is still kind of wet. So you want to wait to that to dry. So you could sit it, you know, put a little heat on it. You could just sit there and let it dry if you're just watching TV or anything. You know, passing the time away. Anything like that. Well, I bought this heat gun because I am trying to start to do my own tumblers. And I got this from Home Depot. It's a heat gun. 
was really light. And this was about, I think it was like $23. So you could try that. So this is my first time doing it because I just got the heat gun. It get really hot, so you have to be really careful. It, it's hot. And this is the low heat. And it's hot. What I do is I use this glue. Because when you use this glue, especially with colored stones, it changed the appearance of the stones. I don't have any here to show you, but trust me, it changed the appearance of the stones. It make it look like it's glassy on the inside. This, when you use this, you just put it on there and... You could just go ahead and apply it, and it doesn't change the inside look of the stones. I got this off of someone on YouTube, and I don't know her name. I only watched her once when I watch each video I watch. I always watch it twice to make sure I didn't miss anything, but oh my God. When I got this, I haven't used that glue since. It do hold the pieces on there. But I do think it'll be better if you use the 6,000 to hold the pieces. But for the stones, I use this. I do wine glasses. I use this for the stones. And, yeah. The wine glass. And I know it's a little dirty. I just be handling it. You see how I look on the inside? It has, the, it's called peekaboo, and it has the little pieces. You can see them on the inside, but it's actually done on the outside. So I did this whole glass with my podge and glitter. So it was one of my first glasses, so I just keep it for inspiration. I don't drink out of it. Okay. So hopefully you're ready. So what I'm doing is I keep the glue upside down because it do, one thing it do, take forever if this glue is not right to come out. So I'll take a toothpick. Okay, use that one. That one got the stuff on it. But the toothpick's good for everything. Toothpick's good for everything. Take it. Uh, do is stick it all the way through that hole, all the way down. See, it's not big enough. Pull it all the way back up. So I just take this. I hold this dry now. Hold it just like this. Around the rim of gravel, around. About that much. What you don't want to do is put a whole lot of glue on here. Because by the time you get to this side, this is going to be dry. So you want to do a little at a time. So. What I do now is I take my spatulas. If I could find it. Mm -mm -mm. I'd like to use a certain one. I should have had this ready, right? Oh, well. That's me. So. I'll use this one. It's just a little silicone stick. And what I do is I take this and spread the stuff out on both sides. Because you're putting stones on both sides. Now, if you're new to this, you may want to do one side at a time. I spread it out as much as possible. Okay. See that? Looks like you spread it. Okay. 
I have to find a better place to place my camera. You guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, the stones is in here. So what I'll do is take the stones and I place them on there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I place them side by side, but I put them closer to the outer edge. And you'll see why when I get to the top. I put them closer to the side where this little piece that is on the back. Let me see. And you had a little space there in the front. You have a little space. And you can move them around as much as you want, as long as the glue is still tacky. Now, when this glue dries, I told you it only take a few minutes, and then it's over. They stuck. Unless you want to plant on uh, redoing your badge holder. Until you finish with the badge holder from the sides. So I'm just going to do this little part with y'all where I got the glue. And then when I finish with the sides, I'm going to come back and show you why you want to put this as close to that back, back edge as possible. Sometimes you got to move that around to get the stones in the right position so you can pick them up. So you put them close to the back. This is just glue right here. This is everything dry clear, so you don't have to worry about it. If you make a mistake, get some glue somewhere, it's all going to dry clear. So when I come back, all of that is going to be done. Okay. Okay. So I'm all done. As you see, I don't went all the way around. You see the little lip at the top? I left that all the way around. I'm not for sure what's going on with that light, but... Okay. So you, you can see it now. So what I'm going to do is show you what I do with this part. Let me see. Maybe I should cut that off. Hopefully you can still see. Okay. So you can see all the way around. So this lip right here is where I put my stones to start off for the top part. So what I 